Are you ready? Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Restoration Tips, the show where I try my best to answer your most commonly asked questions. And in this episode today, we're going to be talking about two things. We will be talking about some things that you can do to prevent the paint from pulling up when you are removing tape from the midsole, and a tip that I personally use to make it so all of my lines look completely straight when you remove the tape. But before we get started, in my last episode of Restoration Tips, I noticed that we were able to clear over 700 likes when I only asked for 400. So in this video, I want to aim for, let's say, 800 likes. I know you guys can do it, so before we get started, just do me a favor and go down and assault that like button. And one more thing before we get started, I want to tell you guys, be sure to follow me on Instagram. My username is the exact same as it is here on YouTube. It is at xchasemachini. I will leave a link in the description down below and my username will be right here on the screen. 99% of the time, the work that I post on YouTube is going to end up on Instagram long before it's actually here. Like when I restored my Countdown Pack Bread 4s, Pictures of these were on my Instagram maybe two weeks before the video dropped, so if you guys want to see what I'm doing long before the video comes out, be sure to go give me a follow. Like I said, link in the description, username here on the screen. Without any more further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about today is something that I get asked pretty much every single day, and it is things that you can do in order to make it so when you remove the tape, the paint does not come with it. And I'm just going to let you know, when it comes to a midsole, there's pretty much one answer per color. So in other words, if you're having problems with the white paint coming up when you remove the tape, I will give you your answer. And if you're having problems with the black paint coming up when removing your tape, I will also give you the answer. But first, we're going to start with the white paint. Now, as far as the paint coming up with the tape, in my experience, the most common is the white undercoat. And what I've learned to do in my time of restorations and customs is allow at least 24 hours for this paint to dry and cure. Pretty much what you are doing when you allow that paint to dry is you are allowing that white Angelus paint to become as durable and flexible as you need it to be. So if you have not waited 24 hours before applying tape to start painting the second portion of the midsole, Wait until that 24 hours is up, man, because I'm telling you right now, there have been many times in the past before I learned that I need to be patient when it comes to this stuff where I would finish my white undercoat and then come back maybe two hours later and think to myself, ah, yeah, it feels fine and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tape it off and I'm gonna paint the second portion of the midsole. And I would finish the second portion of the midsole only to remove the tape and have a big ass chunk of white paint come with it and I would be sitting there and I would just be looking at it and just be like damn now I gotta start literally all over again because you know you can't just go after doing you know seven or eight layers of white and then just think that you can you know paint over that one part that got ripped up it's not gonna look good so that is your answer for the white undercoat if you are having problems with that make sure that you allow 24 hours for that paint to dry and cure before you do anything to it and now there's other people that are probably thinking to yourself, yeah, Chase, that's all good and well and everything, but I'm not having problems with the white. I'm having problems with the color. Well, I got the answer for you too. What you want to do on your last coat of color is remove the tape pretty much as soon as you finish your last coat. So what I'm saying is let's say for this, I did, I want to say five or six layers. Let's just say five for the sake of it. So I did, I taped it off. I did my first layer, let it dry. Second layer, let it dry. Third layer, let it dry. Fourth layer, let it dry. Fifth layer, and then remove the tape and then let it dry. So pretty much if you allow that paint to dry on the midsole and the tape at the same time, when you remove it, it kind of creates a little barrier between the two. And it's really hard to explain, and I'm sure that there's some people watching this that will know exactly what I'm talking about. But when you pull the tape away after, you know, it's been dried, it will almost look like you're ripping up a sticker or a decal. I really don't know the scientific explanation, or if there even is one for that matter. All I know is that every single time I have allowed the paint to dry while it is still taped off, when I remove the tape, the paint usually tends to come with it. So those are the tips that I can give you for your midsole as far as the paint coming along with the tape when you remove it. For the white, 24 hours to dry and cure. For the black or colored portion of the midsole, just remove the tape before it dries on your final coat. All right, so I really hope that I helped some of you guys out with those tips. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into the portion of the video where I'm going to show you guys uh, one little thing that I personally do that maybe will help you guys out in the future to create straight lines on your midsole. Let's get to it. 
All right, so pretty much I am the worst person on YouTube in the history of the website, and I realize that I did not come prepared for this video whatsoever. I have no shoes prepped, so I can't show you on an actual shoe, and I do apologize. But I'm going to show you guys on this piece of cardboard. It kind of looks like a shoe, doesn't it? But anyway, let's just, let's just get to it. God damn it. All right, so I got my Angelus flat black, got my paintbrush right here, and I got my uh, shoe cardboard thing. All right, so the first thing that I want to show you guys is how to actually apply the paint to your brush. When you dip your brush into the Angelus paint, you don't want it to be dripping off. What you want to do is kind of squeegee it off the sides there. So what you are going to end up doing is multiple thin layers of paint. All right, now that I've got a decent coating on my brush, you will notice, you know, there, it, it doesn't it doesn't spread too far because there's not a lot of paint on it, but that's the one thing that you have to learn about doing restorations is that you need to be patient. You're going to end up doing at least six to seven coats of this stuff, and you are going to get frustrated just like I do, and it just sort of comes with the territory. There's really nothing that you can do to speed up the process if you want good results. All right, so let's say this part up here is the part that you want to paint. This part down here is the part that you do not want to paint. What I have learned, what I used to do, which would create a lot of touch-ups for me, is I would try painting down towards the tape. And even though it doesn't look like it, there is a little barrier here. There's like a groove. And when you paint down towards against the tape, pretty much what you are doing is allowing any morsel of paint to go down and get underneath that groove of tape. So what I've started doing, which gives me much better results, is I started painting up towards the midsole instead of down against the tape. And yeah, this is gonna create a little bit more work, but you're going to get much better results as far as line work goes. And you'll see it's going to take a few layers of paint, to, you know, to get it right. And let's just keep on going with that. And once you get to a certain point, you will notice that it will start to look just like the other side if you were to paint down against the tape, and it looks much, much better. All right, so right here I painted down towards the tape, and right here I painted up towards the midsole. And we are going to remove the tape and see which looks better. Oh, it is leaking, it has leaked. And in reality, I did three sections and I got the same result on both. Right here is painting down towards the tape. Right here is painting up towards the midsole. And this little section right here is down towards the tape. Both sections where I painted down towards the tape, you can see that there was leakage. And that is something, I mean, this thing here looks like the Liberty Bell. It's, it looks horrible. And you do not want that happening on your midsole, especially if you are using black paint. Because black is the absence of color and it will pretty much you know, ruin anything if you were getting it on places that you do not want to get it on. So yeah, that's pretty much all the tips that I can give you today. Pretty much just a quick summary for the white paint. If you do not want it to lift when removing the tape, allow 24 hours for it to dry. For the colored portion of the midsole, if you do not want the paint to lift up when you remove the tape, remove the tape on your last coat before it dries. And as far as straight lines go when you are painting, paint up towards the midsole and not down towards the tape. These are things that I wish people showed me when I first got started because there have been so many times in the past where I've gotten so frustrated because I did not know what I was doing wrong. And it's pretty much trial and error and these types of videos for me, Sneakerhead in the Bay and Retro Snickers were not available on YouTube at the time when I started. So I had to pretty much learn all this stuff through trial and error, just like I know those guys did. And we do not want you guys to fuck up your shoes on your first go. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys. Be sure to smash that like button. If we hit 800 likes, I will show you guys my shoe collection, actually. I have not done a sneaker collection video since 2013, and since then I have gotten rid of a lot of shoes, but I have also picked up a lot of shoes. I don't have the best collection, but if we hit 800 likes on this video, I will do a sneaker collection video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Like I said, I post everything there long before it gets up here on YouTube. My Instagram username is the exact same as it is here on YouTube. It is at xchasemachini. Links in the description. There is also a thing on the screen here that says my username. Go give me a follow. I post some pretty cool shit. Shoes, pop finals, the food that I'm eating. I mean, who doesn't post the food that they're eating on Instagram? I really try not to, but I mean, I feel like if I don't post the food that I'm eating on Instagram, then I never really had it at all. Be sure to like my page on Facebook. It is www.facebook.com forward slash Sneaker Revive Sydney. Links in the description as well. And as always,
Have yourself a good day.